Hello internet people, in this tutorial I'll show you how to set up a free WordPress website. In under 15 minutes you could have a shop like this or a business site like this or a blog like this. The domain will be registered with a service called Freenom and for the free hosting we are going to use Infinity Free Hosting which runs on cPanel has easy WordPress installation and free email accounts. And finally, we will install Ocean VP WordPress theme, which has awesome demo themes to get you started. Enough talk. Tips with punch. Before we start, I want to mention that although what I'm going to show you is totally free, there are multiple reasons why you should not use free domain or hosting providers. A video with really good reasons will appear on your screen now. Now, if you use this site to practice or for mostly personal use or showing off your portfolio, then the free one should be a great option. Just make sure you back up your website somewhere else besides the hosting provider. All right, let's get started. So go to Google and search for freenom.com. Now there'll be a lot of ads, so scroll down and you'll see Freenom here just after the ads. And basically Freenom is an organization that provides free domains so that everybody would have a home on the internet. Now just search for the domain you want to create. So in my case it's going to be Punch Salad. I'll check the availability and as you can see it is available with all these extensions and I'm going for the .cf doesn't really matter which one you pick click here on the right get it now and then check out now In this view you just need to extend the free domain so pick the 12 month period and then click on continue and this one is just review and check out, not much to do. Type in your email in this field. And then if, if there's a captcha, just let's do that one quickly. Verify. And once you verify, you should get the confirmation email. So go to your email that you just put in in the field. And as you can see here, Freenom just sent you a link. Just click on it. You'll be able to verify the domain. All right. As you can see, this is pretty much the same page as before. So now you just need to fill in your details here below to complete the registration. So go ahead and fill in your details. I'm going to pause the video at this point and just fill it in. Once you're done, don't forget to click on this check mark here and then click on complete order. Here you can see you have your order confirmation and the number. But basically, if you go from this top navigation, services, my domains, you can see you actually have a domain here. So this is the first step. You just registered yourself a free domain. Now you need a hosting. You are not you. You are me. No sh so it's a bit difficult to get the free domains to work with hostings, especially the free hostings. But luckily there's one service that I found that works quite well. And so if you go to Google again and type in infinity free and click on the first option, you'll see the simple page where basically they offer free and unlimited web hosting. So go to the top navigation where it says register and here just fill in your details your email and create a password get the checkbox and click on sign up at this point you should receive a confirmation email let's go back to your email and you'll see that now there's an email from infinity free and we need to confirm our email so just do that we can't make it quick because my horse is getting tired Clicking here and as you can see we're now inside infinity free account 
your email is now verified now just click on the screen button here new account and you'll be creating a hosting account and since we just created a domain we can use the one from freenom so if you go back to that tab and you have to click on this manage domains button and just grab the domain name and copy paste it into infinity free now we need to actually point the domain to infinity free and you can do it by going back to freenome on this page just go into the manage tools drop down and select the name servers and just select this use custom name servers basically we're going to point our new domain to freenome so what we need to do is go to Freenom and grab the name server that they specify here. There's two of them, so you need to change them both. So name server one and name server two. And then click on change the name servers. And now we can go back to infinity free and we can submit this just do the captcha and click on this green button to create an account so now the domain and the hosting will be set up by freenom and at this point you can just go to open control panel and i know you're probably doing this already but hang on there we are a few minutes away from the exciting stuff all right just a notification click on I approve and now they're gonna install the, the panel for us the great news is infinity free is also using cPanel and it's a good news because cPanel is the most used control panel for hostings so if you learn it here you're going to know how to use it everywhere whenever you decide to switch to a paid hosting so now you can scroll down until you reach the software section. And here you need to click on the app. And once it's loaded, you'll have different options to install the most popular applications. In our case, we're going to install the WordPress. So just hover over it and click on install. So you can choose here the protocol. Just choose something better than this guy. All your days are belong to us. We're going to choose HTTP with the www, but actually later on we'll change it to the HTTPS uh, because we want to have our sites more secure. And obviously we only have one domain. And for the directory, just remove the WP unless you want to have WordPress only on specific part of your page so for example slash blog since I want to have WordPress on the whole site I'm just going to remove this site name just give it a name whatever you want I'm gonna keep it as default so my blog and site description again so just type in what your site is about and then you need to create an admin account for WordPress so just put in a username and create a password and this will create a user for WordPress so you can control your website from the WordPress panel and obviously if you don't speak English just pick another language I'm gonna keep it as English and then here at the bottom just select a theme but later you can choose whatever you want from the internet and actually install it in WordPress so don't worry about this right now just pick the one you like and go with it and then click on install and it will start configuring and copying files for WordPress this will take some time but once it's done you'll display a message that you've installed uh, WordPress successfully and part of the message is also your admin panel for WordPress it's the link here just click on it and you'll be able to access WordPress panel and in my case it goes directly to WordPress 
if it doesn't just enter the password and the email you just registered before and you'll be on this page and now as mentioned WordPress the best part of WordPress is that you can install a lot of different plugins and themes a lot of them are also free it's free it's free it's free real estate so I'm going to show you my favorite free theme which is called Ocean BP so we get here on the left to appearance and then click on themes and type in, in the search box Ocean WP and in my case there's only one option so in click on the install and once the install is done click on the activate button and at this point the new theme is activated and you can see the website by going to the top like here click on my blog and visit the site and now this is what we have currently there's just this default hello world nothing else it looks very empty it's because we haven't configured anything for it now this is a great first step because now we have a website where we can populate with with content so you need articles and images for this to become more pretty and become a, a real website next steps is to set up the pages I'm going to show you how the Ocean WP works okay just go to the appearance tab and click on the themes I'm already on the page and I get this notification from Ocean WP and basically it's recommending these plugins so let's start by installing all of these so you just click on this bulk action so you can select all of them and from the drop down select install and click on apply this might take some time once it's done go to your plugins page and at the top click on add new and search for ocean one of the options will be ocean demo import install that one and once it's done don't forget to activate the plugin and now here on the left you have theme panel and you have install demos so select that one now here you can see a bunch of different demo layouts you can live preview them and see what they are about there's stores there's blogs you can pick the one you want to start with so let's say I want to install this one all I have to do is click on it like this sometimes the demo needs some plugins that I don't have yet but I can just skip that and just click on go to the next step here you can select what to import but I want to have all the data so click on install the demo and then once it's done just click on the see results and it'll take you to the, your website with the full demo installed and now you can just start customizing this this demo to your needs changing the layout a little bit maybe some text and just make it your own my name is robert and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained this is the channel for you so hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos for next video i suggest you check out how to customize ocean wp theme using drag and drop elementor plugin and if you want to learn how to make your wordpress website more secure with ssl check out the second video Whoosh.